Okay, the next question <clears throat> asks us to find an equation of a circle satisfying the given conditions. The first thing they want us to do, part A, is the center is negative 5, 8, and the diameter has a length of 8.2. So I'm going to the, my paper here. It's a little bit more spacious for me. The center of the circle is negative 5, 8, and the diameter has length 8.2. Now, remember, the center of the circle is always labeled H and K. All right? So H in this problem is negative 5 and K is 8. That's always how you label the center. H, K. Now, when I'm trying to find an equation of a circle, I don't need diameter. I need the radius. Well, if the diameter of the circle is 8.2, that means the radius is 4.1. And again, remember the way to do that. A diameter of a circle is all the way across the circle through the center. The radius is halfway. So if someone gives you the diameter, which they did, you take half of that to get the radius. So here's what I know in this problem. I know that h is negative 5. I know that K is 8, and I know that R is 4.1. Now I'm trying to find an equation of a circle that has this as its data. So here's what you write from memory. <clears throat> X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. This is your basic equation of a circle, your standard equation of a circle. Now we plug in what we know. You don't plug in for x and y. You plug in h, k, and r. When I plug in h, I plug in a negative 5. But notice what happens. Minus a minus is going to become a plus. Got it? So this becomes x plus 5 quantity squared. There's always a plus in the middle. <clears throat> k is 8. So when I plug in here, I have y minus 8 squared and r is squared 4.1 raised to the second power go over to my calculator I take 4.1 carat 2 that squares it and that gives me what is that 16.81 so there is my answer this is the equation of a circle whose center was negative 5, 8, and whose diameter had length 8.2. We divided the diameter by 2 to get the radius because that's what we needed to plug in for the equation of a circle. So this is my answer. x plus 5 quantity squared plus y minus 8 quantity squared equals 16.81. Now, the next one tells me to find an equation that's centered at the origin the radius has length 3 sevenths. Okay, let me go to my paper. Get a little bit more room here on my paper. Okay. So my circle is centered at the origin. So that means my center is 0, comma 0, right? Okay, the center is 0, 0. So that means h is 0 and k is 0. Got that? The center is always h, k. That's what you need to know to plug into the formula. The length of the radius is 3 over 7. So r is 3 over 7. Now that I know h, k, and r, I write my formula from memory. Okay, you've got to have this memorized. So from, the, from your brain, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Now, what are we plugging in for h? A 0. For k, a 0. And for r, 3 sevenths. So we get x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 3 sevenths all squared. So it's a matter of plugging in x minus 0 is x, so this just becomes x squared. Plus, y minus 0 is y, 
this becomes y squared. And when you're squaring a fraction, you know to square the top and the bottom. 3 squared, of course, is 9. 7 squared is 49. That is my equation of the circle. x squared plus y squared equals 9 over 49.